Okay, here we're going to consider the point negative 4, 0, and it's on the terminal side of the angle theta. Let's go ahead and make a sketch of theta first. Right here is the x-axis and then the y-axis. And we know this is the x-value, this is the y-value. Let's have the point first. The point is negative 4 for the x, so we put it over here. And the y is 0, so this is the point that we have, right? And for the terminal side, we go from the origin and we pass through this point with a ray like this. And for the angle theta, well, you start with the positive x-axis, you rotate it until you hit the terminal side. So this right here is the angle theta, and you know this is just a straight line, so it is 180 degrees. And this is once again a quadrantal angle because we cannot draw a right triangle. The point is on the x-axis, right? Okay, so in order to figure this out, we are going to do this carefully. x is equal to negative 4, and the y value is 0. And we also need to come with the r. r is positive 4. r is always going to be the positive distance from the origin to this point, okay, based on this situation. So it is positive 4, just the positive distance. So let me write this down, and I'll show you with the computation from the formula you would like. You can also use r equals to square root x squared plus y squared, and this is equal to square root x is negative 4, square that, plus y is 0, and you square that. And you will see, you do the inside first. Negative 4 squared is positive 16, and you add 0 squared, which is still you know, adding 0, so you have a 16 side. Take the square root of that, you end up with positive 4. r is always positive. Keep that in mind. Alright, next, let's figure this out. For sine theta, we know it is going to be y over r, right? In this case, y is 0, r is 4. So we have 0 over 4. We can re simplify this a little bit. It's 0. <laughs> next, cosine theta. Cosine is x over r. x is negative 4. So let me put it down first. Over r is positive 4. So we have negative 4 over positive 4. In this case, we get negative 1. Okay? Tangent is y over x. y is 0, x is negative 4. And we have 0 over negative 4. In this case, we end up with 0. It's a nice number. And this is pretty much it for these three functions. And then for these three functions, these are just the reciprocals of these, right? So. For cosecant theta, we can look at this and do the reciprocal, or we can look at this and then do the reciprocal and then set it up again. Up to you. But anyways, we'll just do 4 over 0, but I'm in trouble because I cannot have 0 in the denominator, so in this case, this is actually undefined. This will be the response to this, right? Because we cannot have 0 in the denominator once we take the reciprocal of that. Alright, secant theta, it will be 4 over negative 4, because it's r of x for secant x, secant theta, right? So this is 4 over negative 4, you still end up with negative 1. And cotangent theta, in this case, I will look at this, okay? It will be x over y, right, the reciprocal of that, but it's just negative 4 over 0 in this case. And I also have 0 in the denominator in this case. So this is bad. The response to this, it will be undefined for cotangent theta. So keep in mind, remember all the definitions and be careful with the sign for the x and y. And keep in mind, r is always positive. That's it.